Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Let me tell you the truth. I'm going to say something and I want you to pay attention. Years ago, even before God began to help this ministry and show us mercy, even in the area of finance and the rest, physically, everything was not there. We still had limitations here and there. But I can tell you by God, one thing I never stopped doing was to prophesy the, the version of Koinonia that will be financially stable to serve the Lord. I vowed a vow that I will never lie and manipulate God's people because of looking for offering to pay for tea and bread. And I found from scripture, it said, when I sent thee, lackest thou anything? I submit to you without any sense of pride. It does not matter what nation and what region God takes us. We have mastered the art of the supply of the spirit. Yes, sir. There's nothing the devil can do about it. It's not pride. It's the truth. Hallelujah. There is no time you will come here for koinonia and you will not experience the presence of God to lift you. Because you see, before you arrive here, the rainmakers were at work. Koinonia does not start on Sunday. The koinonia starts immediately after the last service. There are rainmakers. Are we together? The worship team is singing, praying, preparing to set the atmosphere. The prayer band is sending that, that cloud. Everybody's making his contribution. By the time we arrive, the cloud is ready. It's not our arrival that makes the cloud. That's too late. Whether the devil goes to Zaria or comes here or decides to go to you know, Kenya or go to America, the, the beautiful thing about cloud, eh, so many of you have flown across and you can see that sometimes you look at the, I mean, the size of the cloud covering, you, you can look at the region that the cloud is covering. That means you can be able to make such investment in the spirit that from here it will reach the US. From here it will reach Europe. In the name of Jesus Christ, you can program that cloud over your house. The moment defeat and failure comes, the priest in the house has become a rainmaker already. Satan, not my children. In the name of Jesus, Satan, not my finances. Satan, not my spiritual life. Satan, not my passion, not my word study life. You will not deflate my passion for God. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Remember, the law is atmosphere. The atmosphere gives the Holy Spirit room to rest upon you. In partnership with the word of God that has been invested within your spirit, you begin to speak in psalms, in hymns, in spiritual songs. Everything that is less than psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, Please do not give it dominion over your speaking. That a major part of your speaking should be a communication of psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. I've had the honor and the privilege of many times meeting the fathers of faith in this nation. And I can tell you in my experience, every one of them that I have met, the moment you talk to them, after 10 seconds they are saying something either it is well or praise God or hallelujah give God praise they are with you they have cultured themselves praise the Lord praise the Lord it is well while you are there and the devil is trying to tell you something that you should not believe praise God it is well hallelujah it is well ah daddy this it is well it is well praise God praise God no wonder they still remain praise God no wonder they still stand. It is well. No wonder the doors keep opening. Hallelujah. It is well. It is well. The hymn writer says, It is well and it is well with my soul. Listen, we are wrapping up. We are going to take two or three minutes to speak. 
but I have given you a new position tonight consistent with scripture you are a prophetic rainmaker over your life this is how kings reign this is how kings reign this is how kings reign we reign through the excellency of our words for as long as I am alive the name of the Lord will be exalted through my life the name of the Lord will be exalted through this ministry for as long as I'm alive Nigeria will remain in God's prophetic program the cutting edge of God's program while we see the, the decline economically and otherwise for us so we begin to pray that Lord in the midst of this darkness you are brooding over every darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness the Holy Ghost is brooding over every darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness the worst thing to lose is your sound the worst thing to lose is your atmosphere the worst thing to lose is your voice you can lose money your voice will bring it back you can lose relationships your speakings will bring it back you can lose whatever at the scent of water the voice of the Lord upon the waters is mighty but if you lose your speaking even the culmination of this church age will happen with sound is the loud sound of the archangel that will wrap up this dispensation the earth started as far as we know through the sound of his word and God said anything will start continue and come to end in your life by saying and God blessed man and said and Abraham blessed Isaac and said and Isaac blessed Jacob and said make up your mind from today that the word of God is going to be an intentional investment please look at me go and get Bible on mp3 go and get scriptures you can get it online It's free to download some of you are into tech businesses this is what you should do I just gave you a business idea instead of running around and stealing you can do something that is noble and honorable package the word of God some of you here you don't have to depend online you can go ahead and put together 100 healing scriptures 50 scriptures that help to redefine your identity in Christ give your son as a gift son you are 10 years old you are 2 years old you are 5 years old let me teach you how kings reign kings do not reign by roaming around and waiting for things to happen you put it in your ears you program yourself your little baby without the ability to talk without the ability to understand but with the ability to transport words into his or her spirit in the name of Jesus baby I decree and declare that you will serve the Lord all the days of your life you are a proper child you are blessed I want you to do it husband lay your hands on your wife speak to her she's going out Oh, may God bless you. Don't just say, honey, God bless you. And, and then later you hear something you don't want to hear. In the name of Jesus, I stand as your husband and I declare. I declare that your morning is commanded. Go in peace. Return with joy. You go forth in peace. You are led forth with joy. Little children are going to school. In the name of Jesus, I bless you. Go and do exploits. You are a champion. Go and reign. They will laugh. You will think it's not getting into them. By the time someone looks at them in school and say you are a fool, they will say, Daddy said I'm a champion. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You come to church for koinonia and several things are annoying you. Make up your mind. The moment you are angry, stop talking. Get an atmosphere. Put something in your ears. In the name of Jesus, you immediately you are transported into a realm of possibilities. 
And what would have made you angry is just neutralized. Because remember, when seasons are about to open in your life, I've taught you, one of the things is the spirit of offense. Everything, your husband annoys you, your wife annoys you, your staff annoy you, Nigeria annoys you, Africa annoys you, journalists annoy you, everything, even God seems to annoy you. But you must make up your mind. The climate. I remember atmosphere is a law. I just lost this business in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be sad. I refuse to walk in despair. You set that atmosphere. Some of you, my dear people, all this worship that you are playing here, don't just do it for koinonia alone. I've taught you this. One hour, imagine if they do something like that, won't you patronize them? One hour of soaking worship, volume one. Are we together? I, I'm not saying this, this is not this is not some mark. I'm serious with what I'm saying. Program that atmosphere. Imagine that you just wake up from sleep and you are just stretching, and all you hear is Amen, 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 Amen. Amen, 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 Amen. Hey, Amen, 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 Amen. for stretching and you move to the other side of the bed the dream continues in that dream you are scattering the gates of hell empowered by the strength of the word within you you get up with the keys like Jesus got up from the keys as soon as you wake up from that dream who is this king of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle One more time. Amen. Pair yourselves into three if you can. We are going to spend the remaining just three, three. If there's nobody there, just make it two or whatever. But please, we are going to pray. Help them under the anointing. We're going to pray. Just two, three minutes. You're going to begin to pray in the spirit. Find any hand you find there and begin to pray and make declarations over the person's hand you are holding. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I come as a prophetic rainmaker. Come on, Koinonia. Following from your home, hold the hands of your children if you can. Hold the hand of your wife, your husband. Hold the hand of your neighbor, whoever you find. Touch and agree by faith. Go ahead and begin to pray. Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Declare it by the Spirit. Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. The deliverer is showing up for you. Shabrakata bagata pokosko to pras. Krata kata bagata lakata pras kate bagata. Koinonia pray. Koinonia global pray. America pray. Europe pray. Africa pray. I am a prophetic rainmaker. I program the spiritual climate of my brother and my sister. No more losses, no more failure in the name of Jesus. Superior wisdom, superior favor, higher levels of power, higher levels of grace, strange breakthroughs by the Spirit. 
Pray. The anointing that is within me is finding expression in the name of Jesus. Man of God, pray and declare. It's a new season in ministry. It's a new season of exploits and impact for Jesus by the Spirit. The hand of God is upon me. Therefore, I speak in Psalms. I speak in hymns. I speak in spiritual songs, making melody in my heart even unto God. No failure in the name of Jesus. My path is as a shining light, shining ever brighter, even unto the perfect day. The Lord is my light and salvation. In the name of Jesus, I rise by revelation. The mighty hand of God is upon me. When men say there is a casting down, I declare by the Spirit that there is a lifting up. In the name of Jesus, the God of Jeshurun is arising for me by the power of the Holy Spirit. I am blessed in the city, blessed in the country. Koinonia is blessed, revealing Jesus, bringing him glory across the nations of the earth. declare pray over your brother I rebuke the plan of the devil over his life over her life in the name of Jesus perfect health perfect soundness you will not die before your time in the name of Jesus your relevance will not be cut short the spirit of the waster is far from you of nations the gates of territories are opening by the spirit in the name of Jesus the sick are healed oppressed delivered the confused find direction sinners come to Jesus pray for Nigeria declare over Nigeria Nigeria will not fall Nigeria will not be destroyed for the sake of the elect of God. No matter the schemings of darkness, the purposes of God over this nation, over Africa, and you who is watching by, or by television, pray for your nation. Mention the name of your nation. South Africa, Kenya, Ghana, Rwanda, Uganda, Central African Republic, Cameroon, declare by the Spirit, Cote d'Ivoire, Africa is engulfed with the fire of revival. Europe, America, Australia, Asia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. This is how kings reign. This is how kings rule. This is how kings rise. For by your words you are condemned. And by your words you are justified. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak over your life now. Then I'll do the altar call. And then we're done. This is already a pre-miracle service. Believe me, it's going to be fire next week in this place. This is, this is pre-miracle service. I want to speak over your life. No shadow you will light up. Mountain you will climb up, coming after me. 
you tonight how kings reign every king you see who has taken his place of dominion and is manipulating the spiritual climates to reveal Jesus in his life has done it through the excellency of the speakings of the Word of God now that you understand the power of words let me speak over your life you don't have to kneel or what let it just be that your heart is opened please believe when Gabriel stood before Zechariah, he said, I am Gabriel that stands in the presence of God. That means the presence of God has purified me, purified every falsehood. You can trust what you hear. That's what he was saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stand as a prophetic rainmaker over someone's life. That drought in your life, in the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. For someone here, I prophesy to you, you will not see wind. You will not see rain even. But I declare by all means, may your valley be filled. May your valley be filled. Hear me. According to the law of time and chance, for some of you, certain things have gotten to your turn, but demon spirits made it jump over you. I stand by the prophetic. I take it back to your turn. I take a I take it back to your turn. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. If there is any negative programming that came either by mistake or by ignorance you didn't know and you kept speaking things now that the devil is using for some of you based on what you have said you are not even more than two years left to live because you kept cutting your years with your words i stand by the power of the prophetic and in the name of jesus i cancel every word speaking against you I cancel every word speaking against you. For the Bible says, no weapon formed against you will prosper. And it said, every tongue that arises, please hear me. No matter who has said what against you, maybe growing up, maybe his parents, sincere people, but what they have said is being used by the devil it has become a, a negative rain making process by the power of the prophetic i cancel it now where they said you will fall i prophesy stand where they said you will not rise i speak fly not only rise in the name of jesus where they say you will not find helpers, you will even have to choose who to help you. Where it has been programmed that you will lose your spiritual fire, you will lose your relevance, you will lose your bishopric, you will lose your lampstand. I prophesy, 30 years from now, if Christ tarries, you will still be standing.
final prophetic word anyone under the sound of my voice that this statement Ichabod has been roaming around your head that means you are good for nothing that means the glory has departed that means everybody who sees you they should treat you like an outcast in the name of Jesus I roll away that negative word I say it again for someone who has been trusting God for rain your plans have refused to grow prophetically because the rain has refused to come I stand tonight as a prophetic rainmaker and I say it again by the power of words because by these words the cloud is full of rain may your rain begin to fall those of you in ministry I announce to you this is your season of exploits no power in existence will downplay and demean the anointing upon your life those of you who are diplomats and captains of industry we clear the way for your relevance in the name of Jesus those of you who are businessmen here and it looks like there is an embargo on your business you have tried but it looks like you are not rising if you believe this prophetic word I declare that between now and the end of October not November October in the name of Jesus receive strange help from God and for everyone here who is in need of restoration between now and the miracle service may God do something that has not been done in your life since the beginning of this year <laughs> hallelujah wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise wave your hands to Jesus a wave offering is a mystery in the spirit thank you Jesus we bless you we receive this by faith hallelujah hallelujah please lend me just two minutes let's minimize movement be patient I know that there are so many people I want to make an altar call someone came to church here and whilst you heard me talk about the power of words you just realized that the word that will lead to your eternal redemption you have not yet declared it for the Bible says with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation very quickly two people in one there are those who are saying apostle give me an opportunity I want to know Jesus I want to use my mouth and to practicalize this right now to make that declaration of faith there are others who are saying apostle I have made that statement but I'm not serious I want to make it right I want to rededicate my life whether you are in this auditorium up the balcony all of the overflows and those who are following across the globe here is an opportunity I'm going to count one to five I want you to quickly boldly don't let the devil remember we just spoke about words don't let the devil tell you people are looking at you no come who told you you cannot be saved who told you he cannot love you you can start afresh I don't care how it has been you can keep standing let's celebrate them as they come thank you thank you koinonia is this the best you can do celebrate salvation young old male female and all those who are making this decision from across the globe here is your chance to make it right with Jesus there's no compulsion to it but remember by your words you are justified and by your words you are condemned there were two thieves that hung on the cross with Jesus one by his left and right one was making careless use of words and he was speaking in a very foolish and unwise way and the other one spoke wisely with humility and brokenness and Jesus said about the latter that this day you will be with me in paradise words are powerful thank you very much for making this decision 
in the name of Jesus Christ as I lead you it's my honor to lead you to Jesus the fountain of life the beginning and the end he's Alpha he's Omega may I request that you please lift your hands high above your head as a sign of surrender this is to Jesus this is to the King immortal invisible the only wise God say after me as loud and clear as you can say Lord Jesus if you're joining them come quickly say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word and I believe in you that you are the Son of God I believe in you that you are my Savior I believe in you that you are my Lord I believe in you that you are my King tonight by faith and through the power of my words I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior as my Lord and as my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God I go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these lovely people our precious family from across the globe and even here in this auditorium thank you father for bringing them to Jesus such an honor to lead them to the cross I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit and upon the integrity of your word alongside their, their, their declarations of faith I declare your sins forgiven I call you bona fide recipients of eternal life in the name of Jesus I commend you to God and to the word of his grace that is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance even among them that are sanctified and I declare in the name of Jesus that from today you are the righteousness of God in Christ I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit go from glory to glory and grace to grace and every spirit that has hijacked your life and your destiny I command it to leave you now upon the integrity of your confession I declare be set free this moment in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen a big congratulations to all of you please may I request that you together move to my right just for a brief word with the counselors let's honor them as they go just a word and you'll be back it's going to be just a few minutes and you'll be back let's celebrate them as they go koinonia is this the best you can do hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now we have two more miracle services for the remaining part of 2022 we do not do miracle services in December because we want to give people room to celebrate the, uh, you know, Christmas and then to rest. So we have the second to the last, which is next week, Sunday, and then November. And then afterwards, we'll be preparing um, for next year to begin our miracle services. So please make sure you come expectant, invite someone. I assure you that what you experience tonight is only a preamble to what God is going to be doing. It's going to be a mighty moment of deliverance, signs and wonders, even by the Spirit. And I want your heart to be open in the name of Jesus. The medical team is still opened. The medical team. There are many people here who are medical people. Please do well to apply. You can apply through the head of department, Koinonia Medical Team. All applications should be directed to Koinonia Medical Team as one word at gmail.com. Ensure to include your bio data, I'm told, and um, your contact information in the letter. Hallelujah. The Welfare and Hospitality Department is open for new members. There are many of you here who are gifted and graced in the area of welfare and hospitality. Here's your chance to serve in the house of God, should you be interested. All those who are interested, please wait at the PR desk immediately after the service and someone will come there to attend to you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Have you been blessed tonight? Let me encourage you, go to our page, Koinonia Global, 
and do well to listen to this again listen to this again i shared with you tonight a very powerful spiritual principle walk this by the spirit of god and you will marvel and wonder at what happens in your life praise the name of the lord again i honor and appreciate all our guests those who have come some of you have come to stay even up until next week both those online and those who are on site here we love you we honor you it's always a joy to have you in our midst may the lord bless you in the name of jesus please rise up as we wrap up the service thank you for your patience may the lord bless you in jesus name i declare that your week beginning is blessed you go from glory to glory you go from grace to grace indeed you will reign as a king all through this week in the name of jesus it will be clear to all men that the hand of god is upon you go and return with results in jesus name i pray let's share the grace together in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen surely all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen god bless you see you at the miracle service
this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching